we are burying Ulyssa today. And you two think this is the best time to argue? I don't know how I'm supposed to say goodbye, Dad. And today I was remembering your funeral since I'm now attending a funeral of another young girl who lost her life to violence. I don't know why I thought I would never have to attend that sort of funeral again, but here I am. Thank you so much for coming, and I appreciate you agreeing to speak for the funeral, Jeremiah. Anything I can do to help, it means so much to me. Ulyssa always wanted me to come visit your church. I just wish I could have came when she was alive. Even though Ulyssa's no longer here, Isabel, you're always welcome to visit. Isabel? I can't believe we have to say goodbye. Neither can I. But at least we get to say goodbye together. I'm glad to see that you're out of the hospital, JJ. How are you holding up? Since we're here, it shouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how I'm holding up. Did I do or say something wrong? Don't worry about it, Max. JJ is just hurt at the moment. Thank you for calling. I wanted you to know that I really was thinking about you and your family today. I never once doubted that, Viv. You have no idea how much it means to me, even though I wish you were here. I'm glad I got to hear your voice. If you really need me, Pacho, then I'll drop everything and come over there. I'll be fine, I promise. Just getting this call from you is enough to help me get through the day. I'm so sorry, Nichelle. If there's anything you need, I'm right here for you. Thank you, Quinlan. I'm really glad you're here. There's nowhere else I'd be. Sorry I never really got the chance to meet your sister. But from what I've been told, she sounded like a beautiful soul. She really was. I still have no idea how I'm supposed to live without her. Hello, Esidor. I'm so sorry, but do you mind if I speak with him alone? You have nothing to apologize for. We'll let you two talk. I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. It's okay. Thank you for coming. Of course. But I also wanted to apologize for what happened the other day. I feel like it was too soon to check in on you. I should have allowed you and your family time to grieve. Your heart was in the right place, Esador. And I don't really get to say that about you often. Besides, if I didn't want your comfort, I would have been the one to kick you out that day. The moment I turn around, there you are. Pacho, remember where we are. I was just offering my condolences. Didn't you already do that the second we identified Ulysses' body? I will not repeat myself. Either sit down or shut up. I'll take my seat. I don't want to add to any more hurt than your family is already feeling. Today, we're not only here to say goodbye, but to celebrate the short yet precious life of Ulyssa Torres. She hadn't been a member of this church for even a year, but she made such a tremendous impact. 
when she served along this body of believers. Even though we didn't get to have Elissa with us long, she'll always have a special place in our hearts. We'll hear from Jeremiah Doval first. Thank you, Pastor. Elissa Torres was born in 2009 in Valley Park, Florida, to parents Isabel and Devante Torres. She was the youngest sister of three. Pacho, the oldest brother who adored her the moment he laid eyes on her, and older sister Nichelle, who loved Elissa despite their differences. Even though all three siblings were loved by their parents, Elissa was known to be the sweetest and most gentle out of all of them. She cared deeply for others and was a bit sensitive, but that didn't diminish the strength she had. Elissa did her best to try and always do the right thing. She never really cared about following the crowd. For most of her life, Elissa always wondered about the world around her, searching for some sort of fulfillment. On Christmas Eve of 2023, Elissa found the very thing she was looking for. That day, she agreed that her kindness, sweetness, and goodness wasn't enough, but that putting her faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone to save her was enough. Because she trusted in Jesus Christ alone to save her, Elissa never has to endure the violence that took her life. She doesn't have to struggle through the struggles she faced on this earth. Most of all, she doesn't have to cry the tears we're crying. Because the day she was ripped out of our lives, her blessed Savior wiped those tears away from her eyes for all of eternity. Elissa will be missed for the rest of our lives. But as long as we ensure that Christ is our personal Savior, our all in all, then we will all be reunited with that beautiful young lady again. Hey everyone, I'm Pacho Torres, Ulysses' older brother. Today is a reminder that there's a hole in my family, a huge hole. She was the peacemaker, and now, now my family is left struggling to figure out how to get along without her. Just like Jeremiah mentioned, she really was such a sweet person, but that didn't mean she wasn't brutally honest. Lissa always made sure to tell it how it is, but it was always out of love, and she loved her family deeply, despite our flaws. She made sure to bring the family together during our darkest moment. If it weren't for you, Lissa, then I wouldn't even have come back to this town when I did. That was the best thing she ever did for me because... Because if she never called, if I didn't come back to Valley Park then, then I would have lost precious time with her. And it's just so crazy that someone so loving could lose their life the way she did. So gruesome, so evil. She had such a bright future ahead of her, but it was taken away for no reason. I'm gonna make sure that my sister isn't known as just a number in the string of senseless crimes. Since Ulyssa was taken away from us, I've learned some very important lessons in the worst possible way. 1. It's never to take your family for granted. Lesson 2. Never take life for granted. Any one of us can be gone in the snap of a finger. Unfortunately, my sister, my beautiful, sweet, kind sister, was the one who fell victim to that second lesson. I plan to honor her by loving my family, protecting my family, and making every single day count. I would like to comfort your family with what is written in God's holy word. The word says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Ulysses' earthly life has come to an end, abruptly and unjustly. But now her soul lives forever in the presence of her Savior. I'll leave you all alone to say one final goodbye to precious Ulyssa. What are we even supposed to say or do? Ulyssa's already in the ground. We said our goodbyes the day we lost her. The best thing we can do for your sister is leave her roses. I know you want this day to end, Michelle, so I'll make sure not to keep you long. We'll just thank everyone for attending the funeral when we make it to the Dorval estate. And once we finish our greetings at the repast, then we'll cut it short. Deal? What? Father? Hello, Pacho, Isabel, Michelle. I hope you all didn't think I was going to miss my only chance to say goodbye to my baby girl. 